Wait, let me make sure we are in a live chat instead of top chat. Very cool. Hey, how are all y'all doing today? I've got pulled up on the tablet. So I'll be able to read y'all's comments. To bubble it. And I don't I don't know what we're working on today, you guys. Like I was okay, so I was thinking about making a hair clip, but I think I think I printed it out too big. But I think this one's too small because we're going to be, I've got this stone that we're going to use because it's a, one of our grooved cabs, but I dropped it onto the concrete floor. I dropped it. You dropped it? I dragged. I dragged it? Yeah. Wait. Randy dropped it at Dragon. <laughs> it's not how I remembered it, but if I don't have to take the blame on this one, then so be it. But, uh. It was me. It was you? It was me. Well, that's all right. But yeah, and the butt got all crunchy. See how that's all? You can really tell from this angle. Like, some chips came out of it. Hey, just because it's got a little crunchy, <laughs> don't mean it's Well, that means so I get good. to keep it. I only keep the crunchy butters. Um, but I'm going to use this to make a thingy for putting in my hair. I think. But I want it to be... I want it to be a good size for when I have my dreads in it. I think this one's a good size for, like, my regular hair. And I still feel like that one's a little bit big. Um, oh, uh, hey, Angie. Hey, Sabea. Randy Vaughn did a not so super durable. That's right. Hey, Millie. So Millie's down here getting her butt scratched in Z's right behind her. Getting his head scratched out. You got another butt on your head now. Um, <laughs> oh, I think that makes a crown. Oh, today. that's how you get pink eye. Um, hey, Dee Dee. Hey, Jennifer. I don't actually think that's how you get pink eye. Um, hey, Teresa. Hey, Susan. Oh, how is everybody doing today? Hey, Art. So, also, another thing that I think I'm actually going to be wor working on first is finishing up a little prototype that we're working on. Um, huh? Huh? You're so sassy. You're a CIA operative, aren't you? Nope. Millie is. You can't say that. They will shut down your stream. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not a CIA operative. <laughs> Go on, Millie. Oh, the kiln? Did you lose drink? Um, <laughs> did I? Oh, no. <laughs> nice, babe. Uh, the kiln still doesn't work, by the way, and I'm not freaking out at all. You can't prove it. I'm freaking out. We were I'm freaking out. Ago, yeah, man. and the new one hasn't arrived either. I didn't even get the ah, out. Screaming intensifies. So, yeah. So, that's what we've been up to. I twisted my ankle. We went camping. Uh, not in that order. Do what? Not in that order. No, I twisted my ankle and then we went camping. Oh yeah, it is that order. It is that order. <laughs> so, but everything's okay. My ankle's healing. Um, we leave Tuesday morning to do the great kidnapping of 2023. Um, but we're doing... We also have to drop off the kiln. Yeah, we're dropping off the big kiln in Texas first. Um... Wow, hey, Deline, how's it going? Sabaya says, I'm not going to do what everyone thinks I'm going to do and freak out. Yeah, no, that would be, that'd be too predictable. I'm going to go ahead. I lost my tripod. Yeah, keep it No, it's, I turned and it's like, Bring! where'd it go? Okay, it's over here. Um. Oof. There we go. Okay. Um. Does anybody have any questions before we bring it? Br can't even talk. I can't even talk. It feels like it's been a month since our last live stream. Has it really only been one missed week? One missed week. Oh my Atlanta. And I've been in the garden a whole bunch. Like even like just today, like 20 minutes ago, I was outside playing in the hose. Uh just well I <clears throat> I was watering the garden. I just play with the hose. I go out there and I make rainbows with the uh with the water. <laughs> Cause I'm a grown up. I'm gonna mute over the flower bed. Everything's a flower bed. Because I'm growing dandelions in my whole backyard. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Cricket says, I was in the pool. Nice. Millie, what are you eating? Well, it's gone now. I'm going to mute the microphone so I can get the camera turned around with my, without making horrible camera noise, like tripod noises in y'all's ears. So give me just a sec.
Okay, can y'all hear me? But yeah, I didn't realize until Randy had pulled up one of my older live streams and we were watching it on replay to try to get a screen capture of Millie being a Millie dog. And the try, like, y'all tolerate some r real drivel from this channel. I'm just going to say, <laughs> it's weird without the noise, says Sabaya. Hashtag professional. Hashtag professional. Um, <laughs> Yvette says, I want my butt scratched. <laughs> well, come here, Yvette. Um, looking through, do we change your last name now? Yes, uh, the channel is actually like at Back to Earth Creations, um, and that'll highlight it in orange. That way, if Randy wants to make any videos, hey, Water Dragon, or if Maddie or Abby wanted to make any videos or anything like that, um, it kind of makes it a little bit more of like, not just me. So that's cool. <laughs> nine months of Bea? Um, let's see. How do you upgrade crafter subscriptions? Asks Art. Um, you can cancel your current subscription and then just re-sign up for whichever tier you'd like to be on. There is an unsubscribe button. Um, whenever you go to the craft along pages, like where you would sign up, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's an unsubscribe or you can go into your PayPal account and, um, Beep boop. What's that big heart in the bottom? What happens if I press it? Oh, it's for emojis, maybe. What happens if I click that? Oh, I think I'm giving myself a super chat. Never mind. I don't need to be pressing buttons. Am I even logged into the right? It oh my goodness. Never mind. <laughs> Randy, I broke my tablet. Wait, who are you logged into on your tablet? I don't know. I don't even know how to check. Because I don't have my stuff logged down on yours. I think it says the monster vlog, maybe? Oh. Uh, no, it says it's me. Oh, well. I just work here. <clears throat> okay, so what we are working on right now is I want to finish this prototype piece. Are you going to unmute it at some point? I didn't mute it. Oh my god, did I not? Randy, don't... <laughs> You're messing with me, man. <laughs> just an easy mark. <laughs> well, and it keeps, like, hey, Randy, can you come look? It keeps saying, I don't think Sabaya has kept saying that, but it keeps showing it's weird without the noise. Like, <laughs> and then something's floating on my screen. I don't know what to do. What are you doing? I don't know. But see, like, are and then over chair? here, I think I am. I don't know how to I click that and then I click that. I'm in all messages. See? Huh. Oh. Uh, can I hand you my tablet and you make it work correctly? No. Can I hit? Good catch. How do you <gasps> restart a tablet? I don't, uh, last time I did that, I had to Google it. <laughs> How do you restart a tablet? I found this on the Oh my goodness. Okay. She's so loud. Okay. So. <laughs> um. We are making a mess. I'm finding that we such a quarto. That we such a nano. Are you so really? Huh. It's gonna force me to watch a video instead of just write it out in text. So I was gonna try to make a cabochon bezel. Hey pro. Hey Lisa. It's the way I broke the chat. No, it's it's working on my phone, so I can still read you all over here. So uh, the camping trip was amazing. Um, it was so relaxing. We went down to Devil's Den State Park in Arkansas, uh, which is just beautiful. I wasn't able to go and do any of the hiking or any of the regular shen shenanigans that we usually do. So I think we're going to have to go back to Devil's Den sometime uh, so that I can hike out and see the waterfall. And you just do all the fun things. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be the tab I'm gonna wrap. I don't know. We'll we'll just finish it and see how it goes because I was planning on making a bracelet. So we've been restart device. <laughs> yes, I would like to restart the device. <laughs> you just talk to it. I just talk to it. Yeah, really. That's how you restart it. Ew. I hate that. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Melody. Hey, Sarah, how's it going? That's where I hey, to Rosalie. Melody, that's where I need to be. <laughs> hey, Itzy, how are you doing today? Oh my gosh, thank you, Water. Ooh, Lisa says, have you ever been to Stone Mountain in Georgia? I have not. Oh, Angie says, I Googled it. Viewers will see your picture in a small red heart on the lower left corner of their comment. Depending on settings, may also get a notification that a channel owner loved their comment. Ooh. Oh no, Rosalie says the power is out at my place. Oh goodness. I hope everything's all right. Is it like storming or just like maintenance or something? Or... Got me searching for a heart of gold. Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. It, hey Randy, it says I'm offline. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> this dog is fighting me for everything. Yeah, she's a menace. Ooh, Jan says this is my first time to chat. Many years ago when I first started watching, I tried to get my son to marry you. Oh goodness. I'm sorry, the boat the boat shipped Seat's on that one. Taken. <laughs> Seat's taken, says Randy. He married me back in December. Oh, it's about twenty to twenty five minutes out of Atlanta. Right on. Ooh. Uh Valerie says I ordered a crafter box last month. Is that going to be a monthly because that's what I want? Um, mm -hmm. if you bought it off of our website, then that's just a one time thing. If you did it through PayPal, um, then that's the subscription service. So if you'd like, you could send us an email and we can follow up with um boop boop. Uh with with like the finer details on that. Let me get the tripod where it's not directly right, in my line of sight. Orkney Island, Scotland. Well, hey, quiet. Pro says, Millie. So this is this upcoming tutorial, like yeah, on Thursday, <laughs> uh, is going to be showing how to use the ball chain with a grooved cab. And then I'm working on doing this design using just a ball chain down the mid down the middle. And I'm doing a little bit of a, it's going to be real blurry right now um, because it's a live stream and that just kind of seems to be what happens. Am I on phone, house oh, internet or space? Yeah. Okay, y'all, It's I'm probably going to drop stream, but I've got to go to space internet. Did she just say that again or is it messed up to say I love the ball chain? Oh, she did say I love the, love the ball chain. She said that. Okay. Is I, that not the same thing that she... I, I don't remember what she had said, but it was stuck at the bottom. I'm so sorry, Randy. I've got the memory of a goldfish. I don't know what went wrong, only that something had. What does it mean it's moved? Show What's it moved? Me. Okay. You know what? It's so. Canceled. <laughs> well, it's a good day here regardless. Is it? So, it is. It is. It is. How do you or else? the back button on this? Uh, I don't I don't know so I'm doing the standard two five stitch there. that I normally do so it's gonna be blurry don't touch a button <laughs> okay. oh stop it <laughs> I didn't touch anything Randy <laughs> da, 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 da. So I've got two wraps around both of the wires. I'm wrapping with 28 gauge onto an 18 gauge core. Got me searching for hard gold. Psst. Hey, Wendy. Could you make a cup of coffee for me to drink? Mm. I think he's 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 writing a note and he's running away he's packing his little bandana on a stick and he's like i'm never coming back that's fair i've worked for this for years and everyone's got a paycheck you're getting paid well, I guess it's stupid stapler. um art says so will it be for june the upgrade um oh, the stapler uh if you were to cancel today and re-sign up today you'd be charged today and that would make it like, then you'd get charged again on June 26th. Now, I'm going to say our, um, come on, brain, we can do words. Good. Kiln. Um, our kiln is broken. So all of our order or subscriptions, 
Yes. Or having to go on hiatus. Yes. Until further notice. Yep. <clears throat> Sorry, it says, why am I breaking your chat with a heart again? That comment just lives there now. Um, do, 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 do. <laughs> What's a paycheck, says bro. <laughs> but uh, with the kiln being uh, out of commission still, we have paused um, shipping the subscriptions, and it is likely to not resume until mid to late June. Uh, that's I'm kind of just gr grabbing in the dark at numbers on that one because we were really hoping... We were really hoping that we'd be back up and operational by now, and things have just been delayed wildly. So I do not even know uh, what's going on, but the second we find out, y'all will find out. So be sure to keep an eye on your newsletters, and anybody who is interested in canceling or being refunded, like if you were charged at some point in the past two weeks and have not received your package, and you're like, you know, I'll just wait until, you know, your, your business isn't falling apart, um, then, uh, we can cancel and refund you and then like, just that way you don't have to worry about it. So if you'd like to do that, please just send us an email and we'll get you taken care of. Dee Dee says very blurry now. Okay. I'm going back to house internet. Do it love. Yeah, mega blurry. Okay. Just send us gemstones totally equal. Well, the thing is, is that it's like, we don't even have enough gemstones like on hand. We were going to be hitting a gem and mineral show like two or three weeks from now um and trying to like so that's kind of our backup plan is that we might need to do that in june but we're gonna have to like get the funds together for that and so it's just a uh, when it rains it pours and there's too many variables that are out of our control right now for us to be able to make any concrete decisions or you know let y'all know exactly what's up um other than it the kiln's still broken and we're still working on it the moment our kiln is here, everyone who has paid will get their package. Yes. It so will just be a little delayed. It, yeah. I don't know if y'all could hear Randy. He says that whenever the kiln is fixed, everybody who has paid will be getting their package. Um, and uh, it'll just be kind of... It'll just be delayed. Excellent. Okay. So apparently how soon it is better. Cool. Robin says, will you catch up if already charged? Yes. Yeah, yeah like nobody's going to be not getting a package just because our kiln wasn't working. It's just you'll just get um, May's package delayed. So, uh, you may get May and then the next day you get June. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the way that I'm weaving the chain in, and I don't know if zooming in, would be helpful. This is so blurry, you guys. I'm holding very, very still. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm weaving two around both and then two around this wire so if it's wires one two chain three four there's one two and then i'm coming around this one but that's going to be for hooking around the ball chain now we are going to be doing a tutorial on this um so if things are blurry and confusing now, just wait till you see the tutorial. No, um, it should be at least less blurry in the tutorial. Um, and we're going to be doing, I think, a whole line of tutorials because I am mega excited and like into uh, doing this weave right now. So and then I go one and two. So once I get it back up to there, I just start repeating it on the other side. Oh, no, I skipped. Did I skip that one? Oh my eyeballs. Okay, I'm gonna have to back up a little bit. 
And I'm so, so sorry for last week's live stream, you guys. I know I, I realize now that it said that we had one on the calendar. I had drawn up the new calendar, like the updated one, whenever we found out we were going camping. Um, and like had uploaded it and everything and never clicked publish on the website. So I'm so sorry for that. I don't mean to waste y'all's time or anything. Got a couple of couple of very reasonable emails and a couple of angry emails from folks um, who were like, um, excuse me. And I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. I too am disappointed. Do, 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 do. There we go. Just going around that chain. Right on. Kelly says, I do something similar, but only I use beads that I thread on the weaving wire. Right? And that's... Um, Tara says, I'm sending you no wire breakage vibes, right? Shake a chicken for that one. Um, uh, but with this way, I really like the flexibility of the chain. And it was just, it's, it was really nice. And like stainless steel ball chain is like really consistent, really affordable. And uh, it was a lot of fun to work with. <laughs> So the only thing is, is I think I'm going to have to use like a really thin cab to get this to work with this weaving wire. So I may not use this for a cab. I may use it for something else because I was making it for a bracelet initially. Like that's what I did the initial measuring for. But bracelets um, haven't really been selling that well, either out of our booth or off of our website. So we'll have to see. Maybe the other bracelets haven't, but maybe this one will. So we wrap around, and there's one and two. So since the video is kind of all pixelated and meh, does anybody have any questions? Like Q&A time that we can address? Because hopefully at least the audio is coming through clear. Ooh, uh, water says will you be selling the ball chain um i had gotten this i think from the ring lord if i can find like a bulk manufacturer where it makes sense for me to buy it in bulk and then redistribute it at a lower price to you guys but otherwise i just send y'all to the same folks that i buy from because there's no sense in me being the middleman if y'all can get it cheaper you know from directly uh you know, directly from the Ring Lord. You know, that's it's a really good possibility. Hey, Randy, could you hand me a lens wipe? I think I put face all over the camera again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and how I've been carrying... Oh, that's what it is. There's a... Cheese again? Huh? Is it cheese again? It's not cheese this time. It's boob. Huh? There, There's boob all over the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know how these past couple of days that I've been out in the garden, that... Well, this is getting more interesting. Well, but you know, well, okay. <laughs> you know... <clears throat> so you know how I call you whenever you're playing your video game and I'm gardening? Yeah. And I put the phone, like, right there so that uh, you can hear me you. even when I've got, like, my head in a bag. Uh -huh. Like, well, now there's boob all over the camera and now it's awkward because we're talking about it on a live stream. <laughs> yep. How's that, Brooke? I got the booby off the camera. Is that better? <laughs> Normally, people have to pay for that. <laughs> well, I'm glad to share the song with you, Susan. <laughs> oh, beautiful man. Thank you so much. Cheers, everybody. Clink. You just brewed this. It's going to be very hot. Yeah. There we go. That's looking better. Excellent. <laughs> Hashtag professionalism. I don't get the boob off your camera. But it was all like sunblocky and stuff. Anyways. um, Oh, but we've gotten a lot of work done out in the garden. Like, all of my tomatoes have survived so far. um, Which is phenomenal because we lost a lot of seedlings when I was sick after Anime St. Louis. Hey, Shannon. How are you doing today? <laughs> now it's a cheese bob coffee camera. <laughs> Show Bob's do cheese. Do, 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 do. 
So I started this one with two separate weaving wire weaving wires as well. Oh, Shannon says my garden is up and coming too. Nice. I killed my first squash bug yesterday. Oh, I, yes, I did him a squash. Hmm. You can smell. Yep. It's, I still haven't fully gotten my sense of smell back after being ill. Like this sinus, the last sinus infection I had just like ravaged me of all sense of smell. Um, but I can smell squash bug and Randy's jambalaya farts from today. But other than that, other than that, I can't smell anything. You couldn't smell them last night, so I don't like Yeah, well, it's a sign of progress. So just keep being stinky and I'll keep being excited every time I smell a new smell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, my tummy. Oh? I think I got a new smell for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brooke says, I wonder if you could use rhinestone cup chain in place of the ball chain. A hundred percent. I bet that would work phenomenally. You got the green beans. Oh, pro. I'm sorry to taunt you. Oh, I can't smell it. Oh, no. In an effort to taunt you, I've now made myself sad. I can smell that it's steamy, but I can't actually smell coffee. Congratulations, oh. you played yourself. I played myself. <laughs> okay, Leia says, um, <sighs> MasterCard, is that type of chain you can get in bulk? I'm not sure if it's the best option, but it's an option. Um, the chain is... I think it's a two millimeter. It may be a 2.5 because y'all, I'm surprisingly bad at using rollers. Um, if I could find my calipers, that'd probably be the best bet. Yeah, I think it is just a two millimeter ball chain. Gotcha, Tara. Hula berry starts. What are those, Kit? Oh, goodness, Brooke. Right? But yeah, the roses are blooming and I can't smell them. And we've got like a climbing rose bush that is like, usually it's Pungent. really nice. Do what, baby? Pungent. Pungent, yes. Oh, that's good coffee. Thank you, baby. But yeah, I started with two separate weaving wires and then I just started kind of stitching in but I think it'll be perfectly doable um like if if I were to do this again specifically for a bezel I would stick to doing the 5-2 weave on this side because I do two then two on that one and one across so that'd be one two three one two and then one two if that's making if it's helpful I can draw it out for you guys um but I think on the other side, we'd be able to do, you know, possibly up to five wires and do like a wheat head style or any kind of whatever weave you wanted to do. And that would give you enough that it would hug around onto the front of the stone because see how it makes that little trough? White strawberries. Apparently they taste kind of like pineapple. That is so cool. Uh, Kit got um, hula berry starts. Which I think we had had some, they were called pine berries at Sam's Club, but they were that white strawberry or like that pink strawberry. Yeah. They tasted okay. Yeah. It was, it was a fun experience. I like eating fruit that I haven't eaten before. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, right on, Brooke. Well, I'm hoping to have more uh, new vlogs for y'all but a lot of it right now has just been a panicked getting all of the plants into the ground and in an effort to have them established before we're gone for like a week um because we're going to texas to drop off the kiln and see our eldest niece graduate and then um going directly from texas to tennessee uh, to kidnap the Maddie to do the great kidnapping of 2023. Okay, so there's one, two, and then we're crossing over. Boop. And then I go ahead and just complete to the next crossover on this side. That way I don't forget where I am. 
And again, for anybody who just popped in, um, I'm, my core wires are 18 gauge and my weaving wire is 28 gauge. You could also use a 26 gauge. In fact, I think that might actually work a little bit better um, because it would give you a little bit denser of a spacing. Like, I don't know if you can see how you, it's so blurry. I'm so sorry, you guys, but how you can see a little bit of silver in between the bronze uh, wire. Um, <clears throat> if we were using a 26 gauge, I think that would be m more filled, like more densely filled. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Do, 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 do. And guess who's learning the ukulele for a couple of days because uh, <laughs> I'm giving my youngest niece a, a, a ukulele because her little hands, they're a little too small for um, a guitar. But while she was here, uh, like my sister and her two girls had come and visited. Um, we, like she, she picked up the guitar and was like immediately like doing really good at it. But her hands are so small that she was having a, like just difficulty holding the instrument. And so uh, we got like a little inexpensive ukulele at like vintage stock, and um, and we're gonna take it down there. And I want I'm trying to learn a few things on it that way. You know, it's more fun if you can show her a few chords and you know, help her know how to strum and get a good sound out of it. And if she's interested, I'll leave it there with her. And if not, I'm going to be playing ukulele, not just on the seven hour road trip from here to Texas, but on the nine hour or is it nine or 14? 10, 10, 10 hours from Texas to Tennessee. <laughs> um, and uh, hopefully Randy uh, will still like me. By the time we get to Tennessee. And if I do, we're going to play it for another nine hours on the way back home. Yeah. Well, a lot of that's going to depend on whether uh, or not Maddie is enjoying <laughs> the ukulele sounds. Whether or not Maddie decides to murder you. Yeah. No, I don't think she'd, like, murder me straight away. She'd warn me first. She'd be like, Vaughn, I'm going to do a murder. She'd be like. Don't fall asleep. Yeah. That's love, though. <laughs> Do you... <laughs> Sabaeus is all break for you. For you, Randy. <laughs> hey, Joyce. Are, are you going to wear your noise-canceling headphones? Well, they play my book. <laughs> That's true. Hey, I wouldn't hold it against you. Ooh, oh, that's so good. Yellow watermelons? Um, I had grown yes. some before, but I haven't seen them in stores. Randy says they're amazing. Oh my god, this weave takes so long. It's actually, it doesn't take that long. It's just that I'm a lollygagger. Um... Oh, bumped the tripod. That's okay. What you doing? Do, do, do. Right on. But yeah, just coming through using the ball chain. Because I'm I'd like to get my hands on I saw Oxana on uh over on her Instagram account. I think it was Oxana, it might have been C D Artisan, but one of them had copper ball chain for putting their pendants on. Um, bye Shannon. And, uh, I'd like to get my hands on some copper ball chain because if it oxidizes and polishes up nice, I think that'd be really cool to be able to do with a copper chain. But yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty steady. But man, I love the way it looks. Absolutely love it. And I like especially that whenever I've done this in the past with incorporating beads with a wire through it, um, that gives me two more wire ends that I'm going to have to terminate at some point in the wrap. And that stuff gets so um, 
messy for me pretty quickly. And so it's nice to not have to fool about with those two additional wires. So just hooking around, I do the one side and then one, two, around one, one, two, around two, one, two, around one. And then I leave that one sitting there and then I come over here on the other side and we want to hook around the ball. Isn't this like uh, the snake weave or something in the Lisa Barth book? I feel like it's reminiscent of that. But it's also a whole lot of wire weaving is very reminiscent of other wire weaving. And if you've ever done any sort of basketry or loom weaving or anything like that, there, you'll, you'll notice a whole lot of uh, parallels between wire weaving and like basketry and like weaving weaving and stuff. So that's pretty cool though. All right on, Angie. Have a great rest of your day. I think for girls, Asha showed copper ball chain with the place she purchased one of her videos. Unfortunately, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm yes, I'm done with the machete. Thank you, honey. Oh, Randy, I got to tell you, though. But yesterday, I was feeling like, yeah, whenever I was cutting down the sun chokes, trimming them back, like, it cut through so well that I was like, and I did like Naruto hand flashes and they went whoosh, and it cut through all of them. It was so cool. <laughs> but then I was like, oh crap, because it cut through way too many. And that's why I ended up trimming that whole section. It was worth it though. Yeah, it's totally pretending to be Nick. You know, quit horsing around, says <laughs> Randy. <laughs> Man, it feels, it, feels, it feels really good to be to be kind of back at work. Like my ankle's still hurting me quite a bit and my hands still uh, hurt quite a bit. And I still don't have my sense of smell, but I'm feeling good, you guys. <laughs> Naruto runs with the machete. Do you want my love? I can do some channel cleaning, so it's all good. Yeah. Okay, so it's all good. yeah. <laughs> but I'd, I'd really missed being out in the garden. And I was depressed, too, a little bit because, I mean, it's been a while since I've been genuinely terrible at gardening. Like, I mean, I don't win at it all the time. Like, it's not everything I plant is not a constant success, but, like, I'd been getting better at it. It had been a long time since so many of my seedlings had just died out of neglect. Um, and... So I, I was kind of depressed. I was, like, feeling down on myself and, like you know, and feeling like I had missed, you know, the best gar gardening weather because, you know, being sick uh, in late April, early May, it was like perfect, absolutely perfect, beautiful weather. And I couldn't even get up out of bed to go outside and enjoy it. And I was just kind of down about that. So I was borrowing trouble though. It's been beautiful weather now too. And it's just warm enough to make it real nice to come inside into the air conditioning and all sorts of stuff. So uh, hey, Michelle, how's it going? Mm, oh, that's good. I promise I'm not just saying that to taunt pro. <laughs> Unless. Uh, hey, Julie. Oh, we're still going to be on for about an hour and 14 minutes. So we're not even at the halfway point of today's live stream. Sure you are, it says bro. You can't prove it. <laughs> but a weave like this, once you get settled into the groove of it, it is pretty nice to like... Ooh, Angela says, I'm in Canada and we start planting after May 24th. Right on. Yeah, I bet that frost date. Yeah. And really, I don't think I missed out on too much because I didn't even start any like cold weather crops. So I think it's just going to, it's just going to be, you know, my tomatoes and everybody should be a lot happier. One, two, and one, two. So 
so that is how that is coming along. My hand's cramping just a little bit, so we are going to change gears wildly and unexpectedly. <laughs> um, gears over to, I've got a little piece of leather here. Let me put my tools away. Never ever did get the hang of one toy out, one toy up. I remember my mom and dad both would say that to me. Because I wanted to play with all of my toys all at once, all of the time. Um, not much has changed since I was, what, four? Like, I have grown, but I have not changed. So I think I'm going to start with the smaller Ooh, fruit and ice cream. Uh, hey, Kim. Hey, Simone. Did someone say gears? I think Pro Pool was getting his hopes up. <laughs> oh, Michelle says, I told the hubs I'm not going without a pool again this year. So we've been trying to clear up the space and dig down quite a bit. Because we, because we want to put in what we want to make it level in that. Ah, oh, gotcha. Thank you. I drew this in Procreate to utilize, like, I want to do, like, some little Celtic knotwork and stuff. And then we printed it out, just kind of, like, jank on the uh, label printer. Not label printer. The, re the printer that we use for receipts. <clears throat> okay. Yes, the black and white printer. I'm looking for my transfer paper. I learned them out a lot. Okay. So I'm going to be using, I have a ball stylus, and I shouldn't do this on just plain paper. That's really not going to work out well. Oh man. And I didn't prepare for this either. But yeah, this is a nice thick leather. It's probably at least a six ounce, if I remember correctly, which I may not. It's been ages, honestly, since I've smithed anything in leather. It's about an eight ounce, between an eight and a nine ounce. I wouldn't use thinner than a five or six ounce though. The thing is, is I don't even know where I would have hidden it from myself, you know? Mm. The uh, transfer paper? I'll say it's in this area. Generally, probably. <clears throat> it's like a little roll, isn't it? Uh-huh. And, it, you know, I usually use, um, what you call it? parchment paper because mm -hmm. it's got the shiny side but I'm going to use some of this palette paper real quick because okay. it's got the shiny side. I'll be right back guys. Okay, um, so I'm just using a continuous spray bottle to put some water down on this. And I'm going to moisten the whole thing. Moist. Um, and then I am going to set that off to the side to let it start penetrating. But now my work's all soft. Oh, goodness, have yourself a nap, Bookwitch. It's always nice to see you, but sleep's important. And I'm putting this paper shiny side down. Can I trace through this? that 
got a mini USB that I could use that's possibly longish because I don't know where the plug for this is. Possibly longish. Or could I use one of the charging blocks? Or did you put those away already? You're the greatest. Thank you. Okay, so, whoops. I'm going to be using my light pad real quick to do a tran oh, trace transfer. Do, 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 do. Reaches. My goodness, the side eye she shoots me. Millie dolls? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to Lumos. There we are. Question. What's up? With these new items I'm adding, mm -hmm. you know, we could just completely delete the uh, descriptions of things. Because you're going to need to come through. Right? For the jewelry? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, hey, Randy. Do you need tape? What kind of tape? Like some little washi tape, maybe? Washi? Yeah. Could you get it for me? If I lift the paper up, I'm going to lose my spot again. Thank you. Oh, oh, geez, babe. Good to know the difference. Ooh. Thank you, my love. Okay. So just using a little bit of the washi tape that we use for uh, fulfilling our orders to hold the papers together. Boop, boop. Thank you, honey. Honey, honey. Mm -hmm. I like using washi or masking tape because it's really low tack. Um, and so I can peel it off without disrupting the paper. Uh, bye, water. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> well, I'm glad I put everybody to sleep. Shoot. You've got work to do, my good sir. So I'm just tracing it onto something that I can then trace again. So bear with me for a little bit. But it does give my uh, my left hand a nice break. Everybody, that is our dogs letting us know that the mailman's trying to break in and kill everyone. Clearly, <laughs> what, babe? All right, on Dee Dee says my daughter played the ukulele. Did she have any favorite songs or anything? She's watching this is so cathartic. I hope so. I'm having a lot of fun. 
There's that. And now I'm going to go around to this side. And it's also, this is wonderful practice, retracing back over a design. Um, it's a great way of familiarizing yourself, because I drew this on Procreate, but it was a while ago. Um, and especially if you're using a pattern from like a book or something, it's really nice to familiarize yourself with it and trace it the first time through um, with something that's erasable, um, as opposed to transferring it directly onto your leather, because things are... I mean, there's still ways of working around whenever I make slip-ups on the leather, um, but the best way to fix a slip-up is to be careful and avoid it in the first place. <clears throat> I love those little curly cues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Tracy, I think you'll love this. Randy and I have been watching a whole mess of the Y files. <laughs> What's up, babe? The house insurance is coming down by 30 cents. Ooh. Book the cruise. Nice. Book the cruise. If we could take a cruise, where would you take a cruise to? Something <laughs> that'll take me further than 30 seconds. 30 cents <laughs> 30 worth cents. of. <laughs> Oh, goodness, water. Well, I hope you get to feeling good. Okay. So we've done that bit. And so I'm going to peel off my tape. And so I just wanted that little bit because this part here is actually a second layer in that stitching that's holding it on. Huh? How much ball chain you want to use? All of it? I don't understand. Oh, um, oh, for the bracelet, I measured out, I think, seven and a half inches of ball chain. Sabaya so says cruises scare me. I think I watched Titanic too many times. It's fine. Just don't get on a boat with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> mm. Do you? So now our leather has soaked in. You can see it's nice and dark over here from where the water is still. And then shiny side down on the paper. And this is where we come in and use a ball stylus. You could also use my favorite, and that's a ball pen, because that way I can tell where I have um, drawn. And so I am kind of scrubbing the line in, because check it. See how it transfers? Do you want, hun? I think the little line to indicate how far the uploaded thing is actually backslid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Hold up. So now I do have to be real careful to not move it, because I'm very, very bad about that. But that's okay. And we probably don't have to scrub that hard. Now, I don't want to puncture through my paper either. Um, Tandy Leather and other folks sell like a, uh, a specific transfer film for this purpose that you can reuse multiple times. I have a whole roll of it somewhere in this house, but ever since the rearrange, I've doomed myself to things are highly organized. I just don't know where. <laughs> so instead of having lost one part of my leather working, I've lost the entire bin. Yay. Yay. But we're putting in new wiring for the new kiln, um, which we're going to have to reschedule with James because we're not home at all next week. And that's when he said he was going to be available to help us with the wiring. Sure. We'll talk to him on Monday. Okay. That sounds good. Um, but I'm going to have to move just about everything out of that room to put the wiring in. So that's a good opportunity for me to hopefully find more of my leather working stuff. So again, now that we've gone through and done like a practice of this one, of this design, I'm much more familiar with what parts give me trouble, 
with where the overs and unders are on the ribboning of the Celtic knotwork. <laughs> Organizing equals my house looks great. I don't know where anything is. Yay! Well, I know where all my bead stuff is. That's probably the best organized part of the whole house. And the kitchen's getting pretty organized. And my wire wrapping stuff's pretty organized. Everything else just what is still in its bin from... Uh, from back in January. And it looks like... Um, my front porch is an absolute disaster because it's been an ongoing staging area for just about every project we've done since January. Hey, Kelly, how's it going? Your organization is the devil. Yeah, it is. I love it, though. I really do. Like, I'm really enjoying being organized. It's just the more organized I get, the more... Um, the things uh, that aren't organized in my house and craft room now bother me because I've experienced how nice it is to actually know where something is and go and look there and to find it and it's actually there. And it's like, oh, that's nice. Like, I could, what? My whole life could be like that? And so that's like the goal now is to get everything organized. And so, so much still isn't, but that's okay. That is okay. A person can dream, though. There we go. And if you'll give me just a sec, I'll be able to be done with this, and then I'll be able to answer some comments. I'm having a really hard time focusing, uh, just in general, you know, every day. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to lift it, and I hope it worked. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tracy says, mine is not organized, nor do I know where anything is. Adventure! <laughs> Ooh, hubby and son went camping. Right on, Kelly. It's a good time of year for that. Well, Maddie's putting her foot down. What about? She said no ukulele in the car. What? She said it's nine hours long. <laughs> and I said that's fair. That's prime uh, said, it practice time. <laughs> it is forbidden. That's prime practice time. Okay. Okay. What about guitar? Because I was going to bring my guitar, too. No. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> we are not. We need to leave room for Maddie to put her stuff. I'm going to grow up to be a bard. No. Yes. <laughs> so this is going to end up being the line that I cut on. Um, oh gosh, I'm not even in frame. But I'm still gonna come through with my swivel knife and get a nice deep cut all through there the camping trip was beautiful Michelle like um I had twisted my ankle on Wednesday and had a big old like sat down on the couch and cried pity party because I was like I was a little afraid that I was gonna have to cancel them and it was like it'll it'll have been the first time I've gotten to see like my friend and her daughter like in almost a year of like actually getting to sit down and hang out and not like just be you know passing by you know like oh dropping something off or you know one of them house setting for us or something um and but I was like I had no idea how I was going to be able to get everything packed and ready with a twisted ankle and so I spent all day Wednesday because I twisted it Wednesday morning and I'd spent all day Wednesday and all day Thursday laid up in bed with compression and ice packs and all the things that you're supposed to do to make it get fat, like better as soon as possible. Um, and it we, and we were able, 
I was able to go. I was able to help set up. Like Randy carried just about everything for me. Oh, uh, and Izzy's, um, that's the young lady who used to work for us who went off to college. Um, she brought her boyfriend. Uh, I think they've been dating for like six months now, but it was the first like kind of family outing uh, that she had brought him along with on. And he is such a sweetie, you guys. It was adorable to get to see. Um, God, he was such a puppy. It was like. You know how the boys in like middle school will, car will carry an ungodly amount of chairs to try to impress everyone around them? He was doing kind of that for everything. But it was, I mean, he was really sweet and he's got really good manners and like they just, they seem to really love each other. And I think that's just amazing. So it reminded me a lot of when Randy and I were that age. And then I felt really old because when Randy and I were their age, we were starting our business and like vending and stuff. And I was like, oh my god, I can't believe, because they're such babies. It's like, I can't believe that Randy and I, like, were just out, like, being vendors. Like, no wonder everybody was nice to us. We looked like babies that, like, had just gotten separate. We were dogs without horses, says Randy. <laughs> um, but it was, it was a lot of fun. So anytime I needed help with anything, uh, like carrying something or moving something um, during setup or teardown. Everybody was real helpful and real patient with me. So it turned out to be just beautiful weather too. Uh, I think we're going to have to go back and actually go and do like the hiking and everything. So this is actually much smaller knot work than I'm used to doing with leather. And I'm realizing this now. that Maybe I should have started with something easier to ease myself back into it. Bah. There we are. Dun, dun. Ah, bye, Dee Dee. I'm using that daily after I get in from the garden. What's that kit that you're using daily? Oh, icing and stuff? Yeah, I'm so glad it worked out too. But uh, Randy and I tested out a new tent that we had found because like our our main tent that we really love, we bought, mm, would you say in like 2010? At the latest, it was 2010. Because yeah. um, we were thinking about it and it's like the last documented camping, the first documented camping trip I have of us using it was 15 years ago. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, but it's getting a little old. Um, some of the seams are starting to deteriorate and while everything on it is still perfectly usable and is not, there's nothing wrong with it that, you know, can't be fixed with some patching and, you know, TLC, we were like, okay, it's time to start shopping for a tent that can compare to this one as far as just being so versatile and so perfect. Like, oh, it was the most perfect tent, you guys. Like, it's my favorite. And we still, like, I thought I'd found for a perfect replacement. And it's it turned out to be okay. But we had found it on clearance. It was, like, um, the Coleman Sun Dome. And it's, like, a 20-foot long <laughs> tent. And, uh, again, more information will be coming out about that over on the Monster Vlog, where I'll talk overly in-depth. You know, way more information than you were ever interested in knowing. And yet, here you are um, about the tent setup. But uh, it turned out pretty good. It was really nice to get to test out that tent. And it was just cold enough that the bugs weren't really a problem. And Randy and I shared a one-person cot because I have separation anxiety. <laughs> I don't really get anxious. I just, like, will not tolerate not sleeping in the same bed as Randy. So, though Friday, I did sleep a little bit in my own cot. And then after that, I was like, psh, scoot over, Randy. Can't have nothing to himself. Can't have nothing to himself, he says. <laughs> But it was a lot of fun. But I want to go backpacking out at Devil's Den. Like, just because they've got a reasonably short um, hiking, like, campsite that I think would be really cool for, well, hiking in. Um, and just, like, backpacking up to it as a first trip for Randy and I to backpack together. There it is. I'm always losing the little cat. There we are. Hmm? 
Hello, Marion. Hey, Marion, how's it going? Okay, Sabaya so says, you know you're talking to a bunch of nosy Nancys. What? I saw the loading bar go down this time. Oh, really? What are you being nosy about? The tent. Oh. Ooh, boo-boo cream, Kelly. Well, it's the tent. The rain fly on it looked really good. But it doesn't give you options to you either have the rain fly on or you are full screen all the way across. It's not like with our regular tent where it had those bay windows that you can unzip and get a really nice cross breeze. But you can have it unzipped like when it's uh, you know, raining and rain wouldn't come in. And uh, with this tent, there wasn't really an option for that. Now, it did have some vents, like, lower down, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I found myself on eBay after coming home trying to find, like, other used <laughs> Grizzly Dome eight-person tents uh, by Gander Mountain. Like, that's how long ago this was, was it was back on Gander Mountain before I think they got bought out by Cabela's. Okay. man and my hand strength isn't what it used to be either I'm hurting my hands so I'm just gonna go slow and steady I bet just using my, my scissors uh oh um I can squeeze down I, I don't want to risk slipping the box knife okay Oh, yeah, that should work out just fine. So, just carefully cutting. If I am going to mess up, I'd rather mess up on the side that I'm not going to be using for this design. Than risk cutting there to the inside. And also, always be very mindful of where you have your fingers placed on the back. Because if this will cut through six millimeter cowhide, you bet your britches it's going to cut through our tender little human flesh. <laughs> so, and that is the voice of experience on that one. This crap hurts when it cuts through your fingy. <laughs> I totally relate to the whole not following your own recipe, Kelly. Oh, Louie says, I used to love doing stuff with leather, too. It's a lot of fun. Marion says, I'm unpacking my sewing room today. Oh, I hope that's, like, I hope that's a good thing. Because to me, it sounds like an adventure, but I can also see how it would be, uh, trying. Oh, Marion, oh, that would be so cool. Am I allowed to talk about the top secret thing in September yet? That we haven't really developed any further plans on? What's happening in September? Eh. There's nothing that I can say to give you a hint that's not going to give it away. Then no. Okay, we'll talk about it again and maybe... Maybe when we get back with Maddie, we'll be able to... Uh, tell everybody about it. We'll get some information locked down, perhaps. Okay, so that's that. And now let's find a hole punch. And my hammer, I get to hit things. Where's my big hammer at? There's my big hammer at. I don't have a slice through this one. And I'm going to be using, I'm not going to be putting an eyelet in this. But I want it to be able to accommodate like a, uh, you know, I'll punch the holes out after we've done the tooling. So I'm just getting down. There's that textured beveler. And then I think I have a, yep, here's my small textured beveler. And then here's an even smaller textured beveler. So, let me 
scooch a few things. It hungers for blood, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, I'm actually going to raise the tripod up just a bit. Mostly because if I remember anything from last time I worked with leather on camera, uh, I hit the thing a lot with the... Ooh, uh, Donna says, sorry if someone already asked this. Y'all can ask me the same question over and over all day and I, I, won't, get, I won't get upset about it. Um, what is the best place to get leather tools? I personally really like Tandy Leather because they let you test them out before you buy them if you're like in store. Um, but they have some really decent ones on Amazon now. Um, and, uh, Springfield Leather is a good source. Um, now for tooling, I am going to go ahead and get it nice and saturated. Normally I would take it to the sink and hold, like, fill it up with like warm water and hold it under till the bubbles stop. But I'm lazy. No, I'm lazy. And also, I worry that if I do that on this and then tool it, um, I don't want to get too much distortion on, like, the leather stretching and stuff. I don't want to lose the shape. Lynn <sighs> says, every time I hear you say monster vlog, I LOL and I don't know why. <laughs> Well, Vonster is what, in high school, one of my good friends' moms, uh, that's just what she called me. She called me the Vonster, and I just, I love it, and I love her, and I miss her. Ooh, so this will be my first time tooling since probably, I don't know, what was the last leather thing I made, honey? Head feels loose. There we are. Well, that looks pretty nice. I'm going to see if we can't get a little bit of a different angle on this. Ooh, Julie says I got a nice starter kit on Amazon. Right on. Yeah, that angle's not going to quite work. I had my arm over the tripod. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a little cumbersome. So I'm putting the deeper edge of the tool into the cut that we've done. And I'm a little angled. I keep the end that's in the direction I'm moving up higher. So this is exaggerated, but I have it angled up just a little bit. And that way, every time we tap it, it kind of just inches it, millimeters it really, uh, forward just that little bit. Walks it, that's right. Mm -hmm. And the deeper you do your cut, the deeper and more contrast you're going to have in your tooling. And this really shows off whenever you use like an antique gel or something like that um, to. Uh, and we'll be doing that. A little later probably all right time to change chairs huh I was saying where's your saddle there it, is. there it is yeah next leather project is gonna be fixing this saddle chair I'm gonna make a new leather cover for it 
so I think hopefully that'll be nice. Because Misty got us this chair, and I really want to keep using it because the cushion's really nice on it, but the vinyl has split and the seams have come undone, and there's not quite enough fabric uh, to re-sew it back together. Hitting, woo, hitting the tripod a bunch. There's no point in rushing this. You can always come in and check your work. Hey, Benjamin, how's it going? Ah, uh, hey, Nilda. Hey, Leaf. <laughs> My head feels kind of loose too. Oh, it's on the on the the rawhide which i guess shoot how would i make that be less wobbly i don't know i don't know either and i think i'm gonna transfer to using or transition to using this smaller Yep, I'm going to have to lift the tripod if I'm going to keep bumping it. So I hope this is an okay angle for you guys. <laughs> right, Kelly? It's been a while. This, hair, this chair has held up exceptionally well. Okay. Heck, that chair has lasted over two years. Hmm? Chairs lasted longer than two of them. Yeah. So, what would you all think of if we made some of these and put them in the shop for like buying? What? Well, like what? Like you want to utilize the background of the dragon booth, right? Um, I don't know if we, we have to test. I still haven't talked to you about it because last time I thought about this, I was like, if I talk to him about grid wall, he's gonna lay an egg. Um, we need to test and see if the grid wall actually fits into the van mm -hmm. before making stuff to put on grid wall. That's fair. So. And I'm just going to say these are really fun, kind of a smaller project. So it doesn't use a ton of leather. It doesn't use a ton of time. It uses all of my skill. But, I mean, I get to dump all of myself into something and then send it off to a new home. And it, these never really sold well for us out of our booth because I don't think we had a good way of, like, displaying it. And even now, I don't really know how we would go about displaying them but on the website I could make a couple just one of a kind pieces and put them up in our shop updates yeah. everything fits in the van. who said that everything fits in the van I don't know maybe I mean it did for the camping trip by some miracle Mm-hmm. I actually think it fit in a little better when we load it out. Maybe. Do you not think so? Maybe. Hmm. That's a hard little curve. I guess I'm going to need to design the knot work that I'm going to tool into the leather saddle cover for my yeah. chair. Yeah, see how that's like I mean it makes a very different look even just that by itself looks pretty cool is it a tapestry bag van like the bag in Mary Poppins hmm that'd be cool uh this is gonna be a hair 
like a, a hair cup, I think they're called. This is the drawing. And this cab isn't going to have that, uh, the wire wrapping on it. But the cab's chipped from being dropped. And so I thought it would look really cool covered with a second piece of leather and then stitched on for a hair thing. And on this one, I may use a smaller stone, but I was going to make a really big one for whenever I have my dreads in. That'd be really cool. Though, the kind of, I missed my window of having a little bit of time to play it. Mm -hmm. So. Ooh, Phyllis says, oh, yep, that is really nice. I have long hair, so that is something I might use right on. Oh, I lost my spot. There we are. And this is why I really like having the specialty tools of, like, it's the same texture in the same bevel style, but it is very small but it is perfect for just getting that one little detail and sometimes that's all you need mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh hey mary hart no this is can't wait to see the finished product right same here Oh, sewing a new bee suit. Right on. What kind of material do you use for a bee suit? Is it like just a heavy duck cotton or do you use something uh, more robust? if using this little tip here on the tight curve oh yeah that's perfect just the tip, tip. right you are Ken. yes oh I love that okay well, this isn't good. what's up babe I'm still trying to upload the first item uh, cookies? No. It's trying, and then it goes the other direction, and then it's like, oh, error message, try again. Hmm. Does your Firefox have updates? It does not. I have not checked yet. Okay. That's the depth of any sort of what could even be confused for tech knowledge. Well, I'm just wondering if this is a new quirk that the website has developed. Yeah. If that's the case, that's problematic. I mean, we can just write a really good description to all these. They're pretty. <laughs> They're <laughs> pretty, I promise. <laughs> Do you want to try from my computer? Maybe. Except I'd have to move all the uh, pictures over. That's doable. It's everything at this point. If it's not working, everything is going to be inconvenient and less than ideal. That's just what it is. Sorry, it's things have been going uh, like over the past couple of years, I guess, really. Like one little, oh, this doesn't work about the website anymore. Oh, okay. Well, we can, you know, we can work, find a way to work around that. And we've been consistently finding and struggling through workarounds but it's getting to the point that like sometimes on the newsletters and almost all the time on the blog posts uh, for the members only streams it won't post video like embedded videos which it's like okay um <laughs> so that's frustrating and then it's getting to where like uh it doesn't let us do bulk upload modifications to where like usually we can get a shop update like 
you know everything uploaded and like double checked and everything and then we would just select all the items and then make them visible on Sunday whenever it's shop update time you know um and so now we have to go through and do that manually one item at a time and by we I mean Randy um and it's just it's getting it's getting ridiculous and I really don't want to have to develop a new website and everything but Oh, that'd be cool. Is that how you mean, Anne? Could they be displayed on a narrow log? Um, yeah. I just don't know where we would work it in in our current booth setup. And it's always tricky to be like, do we put the new items out in displace things that we know so? Or do you know, like it's uh, just kind of risky sometimes. And since we're only doing two conventions a year, we'll probably just pop them up on the website. But yeah, so that's before tooling, after tooling. And I need to check and redo any lines that are looking kind of rough. Because I, I try to not put off too many problems for future Vaughn. But it's getting to where some things, there's just nothing I can do about it. And future Vaughn's getting a lot on her plate. And she's going to be sour with me. <laughs> so, but there's just, it's out of our control. Which is like the biggest frustration. Oh yeah, you're making a summer hat to hold the mesh. That does make sense, Benjamin. <laughs> Challenging your English writing, that's fair. <laughs> Um, oh, Marion says, what is the trick to getting into the after party chat? I was not able to figure it out last time I tried. Um, if you're coming through, uh, are you coming through an email link or through the YouTube channel member link? Because for the YouTube channel member link, you should be able to just click it and come on in. I think I'm going to do, yeah, we're just going to start it the same way on this one. Yeah, so for being a channel member, um, you would come to, how do we see? So you'd go to our channel page, and you would go to community, and this is where it'd be on the community page that if you're a member, um, it will have the members only, and then it'll have like the video so that's how you would find it i'm pretty sure um would be that away does that sound huh i may have i may have posted the wrong video uh. we'll try it again and i'll try to be really certain to post the correct video mary and i'm so sorry and we will keep an eye on our emails, so if you have any problems with it today, just send us an email just as quick as you can, and we'll reply to you with the streaming link, and that way you can come in that way. That's a good point, so somebody make hmm. sure your YouTube notifications are turned on. Oh, yeah. Gotta have those notifications. You seriously just go on Kind of, but. I was going to change the angle, but I don't really think it's going to be helpful and it's just going to be indecent. I was going to put the camera across and have it. Oh. But that's like OnlyFans. <laughs> Coming in. 
And anytime I do one side of a line, I do try to do the other side of it as well. Just so I don't, whoop, pardon me, my little gnome cup. Yeah, Maddie and I were in, we were out thrifting, thrift shopping with the fam. And she had found these super cute gnome mugs. And so, I love drinking out of my little gnome mug. Right on. Marianne says, I need to make you in the community a priority again. I'm figuring out oh, the work-life balance right now. Dude, juggling work-life balance <laughs> is tricky. But I just want you to know that it's like um, there are no obligations or expectations or anything like that. Like, I understand completely that there is an ebb and flow to things that like um you know so sometimes people are real real active with what we're doing and sometimes they've got their own thing going on in their life and y'all are welcome to come and go with the ebbs and flows as you need we are always here for you without making any demands on you like you don't there's no required participation so if there's ever a juggle in your life and it feels like you know if we're anything other than just relaxing and hopefully inspiring in some way even if it's for inspiring you for what not to do um you know it's if there's if there's ever any stress around around it you know there's no pressure so like does that make sense i hope that makes sense i lost my spot i actually think i started working on this side again crap <laughs> no of course in my head it's like except for me because there's like so much pressure that it's like, Vaughn, you're killed. Ah, screaming intensifies. It's a, uh, Randy has a meme that he shows me that's like this little dog creature sitting in like a cafeteria, I think, and everything's on fire. And it's going, is it I'm fine or this is fine this or is fine. this is fine? I think it's from a show that I haven't seen. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah, for reals. And, and sometimes, yeah, connecting with other crafters and just getting the good vibes on. <laughs> Stephanie says, I love that meme. The fancy log out, log back in trick. Mm. They'll never see us coming. Turn it off, turn it back on. Mm -hmm. Or feed it cookies. Or... No, don't feed it cookies. Really? I don't know. That, that's my way of doing computer stuff is to feed the IT tech cookies. <laughs> You want some cookies? <laughs> hey, Wandy. No. Wandy, why won't you look at me? No. Wandy, <laughs> look at <laughs> <laughs> This poor man. <laughs> Randy, my love, tormenting you gives me such delight. Thank you. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> now don't be that way. So have you tried jiggling the handle? Yeah. <laughs> well, go on, jiggle the handle. Now, I realize this is super stressful for you, and I'm sorry. Uh, I don't have any way of being helpful. I'm just thinking, good, good thing I'm starting on Friday. Yeah. I know I need to be done by Monday. <laughs> And that's kind of the predicament that we keep finding ourselves in is we're like, oh, we'll, we'll do this thing early to get ahead and have like a day off. <laughs> Crying intensely. Good thing we started early because nothing's going as planned, but that's fine. Oh, it's that meme again. <laughs> but now this is where practicing relentless optimism comes in handy, but it's, we figured it out before we'll figure it out again. Hey, Holly, how's it going? So is me with my savings account. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kelly says, what's the issue? Guess I can help troubleshoot. I did graduate with a degree in IT and animal husbandry. 
I can see those going hand in hand. For whenever the goats won't connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, with our website, we're trying to upload pictures of the items, and it's having issues. It could, quite frankly, just be something within Weebly. Mm -hmm. Um, in which case, if you want to take a break for like an hour, honey, instead of just beating your head on the wall. I'm okay. Well, I'll let you know. I'm not like over here cracking the whip. I put the whip down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make a new whip. Mary Hart, I am making a little hair thingy for putting a stick in, which I snagged some chopsticks from the restaurant the other night. So I, so we can use a pencil sharpener on the ends of it and make them into hair you sticks. You snagged them? Yeah. I stole. They gave them because they were going to throw them away. They were on our table. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be like that. And this part here, all the dashes are where it's going to have like a laced edge which i guess i could have given myself a little bit more space this one might not have a laced edge we'll see um huh i have a question what's your question baby why do you sound so guilty me <laughs> what you have no proof <laughs> i wasn't even there that was like other one. Oh, okay who are you who sent you he's an operative <laughs> Okay, yeah, we do need to get out more. Or do we? Beep boop. How long did I try to convince you that I was a robot when we first started dating? Oh, like four hours. Was it just four hours? I thought it was like a month. It was a long four hours. It was a long four hours. <laughs> zoom in, but then I know that I'm not going to be in frame. Mm. Aw. Brooke says, it's going to be more than one message. Okay. I just want to thank you because you helped to motivate me and make me feel valid in my frustration and nervousness towards starting my business and everything. I'm part of a motivational group that meets once a week, and I'm finding they don't understand me much because their businesses are not art-based, but here I feel understood. But yeah, I just wanted to say thanks because these lives and the videos have helped me more than anything. Aw, Brooke, I'm so glad to be helpful to you. And man, phew, motivation's hard. Like, I think, I think it's almost, for me, I can only speak from my own experience. It's less about motivation and more about discipline. Because it's like, it's easy when, when I feel motivated. You know, whenever I feel inspired to do a piece or I'm having a lot of fun with something or, you know, sales are going really well. Oh, Celtic butterflies? No, but they should be, Michelle. <laughs> um, and it, but it's, it's sometimes you have to save up. Like if I could, I try to bottle in my heart all the good feelings of whenever I am feeling motivated for whenever everything's going sideways and there is no motivation and it is just sheer stubbornness and discipline and refusing like relentless optimism and refusing to give up but we're gonna have to try everything under the sun because that's what it's gonna take but it's just the uh and i've always appreciated that this community really seems to kind of understand that and never once has anybody in any sort of seriousness um, unless it's like a troll just being rude, um, been like, why don't you just give up? Why do you work so hard? Why do you blah, 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 blah. It's like, no, it's like, like uh, y'all cheer, not just me and Randy on, but y'all cheer each other on in a way that's amazing and inspiring. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, so thank you guys. Oh, what? Donna says, just want you two to know that your effort and talent are appreciated. They are a regular part of my progress with my therapist. Right on. 
Brooke says, I just kind of left the meeting feeling like, hmm, I don't know if this is the place for me. But here, I never have that. Now, also, Brooke, sometimes being a part of a group isn't, and again, I can only speak from my own experience, but sometimes being a part of a group isn't just about what I can, what I'm currently getting out of the group, but maybe you being there is helping other people in the group, like, if that makes sense. So it's sometimes, you know, you may be the one bringing something to the table instead of taking something away from the table. So don't undervalue your own contribution to what you're a part of. Because sometimes if we can't help ourselves, maybe we can help others. And we're on, I think this is our last line of this layer of the tooling. And then I'm going to add some background texture. And so I think actually the uh, whenever I catch myself being kind of in a little bit of a mindset where it's like, well, I this and I that. And I'm not at all saying that you're like this. Like, this is just something I've experienced recently. Um, you know, if I'm caught up in my own experience, if I just put my kind of put myself on a back burner and just pay attention to somebody else's situation and try to be helpful to them, not, you know, forcing myself in a helpful way on other people, but just, you know, how can I help you? Uh, that brings me peace that I've not found through trying to make myself be peaceful. Oh, what background texture? Because I also don't freaking know where any of my leather tools are. Um, because they're, they're reorganized in quotations. It is not in that one. So we can set that off to the side. Here we go. Because we could do the little pokey one. We could do this one with that texture, but I don't know where the bigger one is. So again, three different sizes. of oh, it's just, it's the same texture that was on the beveler, but um, flat instead of curved. What's up, love? Well, that might explain the finger tree. Appears I'm not connected to the internet. Oh my god. <laughs> no, Randy. <laughs> okay. Woo. Which is weird because <laughs> I'm watching chat. Yeah. There's no telling. Oh, Hallie says, someone told me I influenced them with my advice last week. I said, oh, no, you really may not want to listen to me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Marianne says, I just organized my leather tools and now I want to go play with them. Do it. Do it. <laughs> it's just off-putting, says Brooke, because some of the mindsets on business don't align with how I feel. So it feels like I might just not fit in that group and that's okay. I learned long ago that I don't have to fit everywhere. That's true. And sometimes being faced with um, differing, especially in the business world, because the way that Randy and I go about doing it might not be what's best for you or the next person next to you or, you know, like just because it works for Randy and I doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone. And sometimes seeing how somebody else's wayward path gets them where they're going is actually for me very validating because it's like, you know, as odd as what they're doing seems to me, what I'm doing probably seems just as odd to them, yet here we are, both of us keeping our ships afloat. So it uh, inspires me to dance all the more when I see somebody dancing different <laughs> from how I am. 
this almost a um a solid reminder that there is no right or wrong way because there is different strokes for different folks there is only zool, there is only zool. thank you randy <laughs> yeah oh 100 percent dd she says i believe we can all help each other at some point mm -hmm. So I'm going to be filling in the background. Do you see how it added that little bit of texture? And I'm not going to be doing that everywhere. I'm just doing it on the inside of the knot. And that way, I think it's going to help the knot to pop. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And so I'm just walking this very small tool. Along the edges first and then I fill in the center and I will have the pattern for this uploaded eventually we'll see if the website's working again um, to our digital download content for our five dollar and up patreon uh, members and Happy Crafter Club members. But that way you could use it. Um, ooh, right on. Hey, event. Your timing is exquisite. Um, but you could use it, shoot, as just a coloring page in your own leather work, in however you like. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I'm being real, real careful to not goober it up. And sometimes if it's like this one and in a real tight corner, I'll set it at like an angle. Using the back side. Like, I don't know if you can see the angle that I have this. It's not straight up and down. I'm just catching that back edge. Just to try to make a nice, deep little spot like that. I totally respect that Maddie doesn't want to listen to nine hours of ukulele in the van. We should bring an extra pair of noise canceling headphones for her. <laughs> oh, so she can play play um, Breath of the Wild. That'll be cool. She mentioned something about needing to beat it before she can start it on the next one. Yes. So there's that. Ah, Donna says the Tandy leather here is the same one that was here when I was in school in the Middle Ages, <laughs> the 1970s. Right on. Kelly says really the Middle Ages. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly says I'm really digging watching this because I think it'd be fun to try to make some. Definitely. And I'm even wondering if we could make some out of cost clay because of how flexible it is. I just wonder how something like that would hold up. Because if I could have a glow-in-the-dark hair thingy. Yeah, you can still paint it glow-in-the-dark. That's true. That is very true. Have to be doing with the oh, cosplay. I was thinking Terraflex for some reason. Mm. Ooh, those would be nice. Uh, the Terraflex wouldn't have... It's a little too rigid. Yeah. But I can see that having a time and a place. Perhaps. Actually, a little bit of Terraflex over like the wooden stick might be really nice for adding, like making it look a little sticky, like a stick stick. 
like stickier Put stick. Over this wood to make it more wooden. Yes. <laughs> It's not wooden enough. Make it woodier. Are you going to paint your stains? Yeah, I was going to slap some antique gel on it. Ooh, we got three minutes. Snap it. Eee. <laughs> but yeah, I realized I don't really wear or keep a whole lot of what I make. And things have been... I mean, don't get me wrong. I really love having stuff be organized and having like every second of every day planned out and everything. But I miss just making something. <laughs> Like, just for the, the making of it. And I know that the only way that I do have time for doing this is because um, we've adhered so diligently to our production plan and everything um, for the past five months. Basically until the kiln broke, but that's okay. Do you have any classes scheduled around Springfield this summer? Uh, we do not. Are you leaving at 4? We are leaving at 4, but then we'll be back on at 5, five from 5 to 7 p.m. for the after party. So keep an eye out for your new YouTube notifications or your emails if you guys are interested in coming to the after party. Um, where it's basically this, but sometimes we get rowdy. <laughs> This with more cursing. Is this with more cursing? Um, but uh, it's just what it was like a dollar ninety nine here as a YouTube channel member, or you can join up for just a dollar over on our uh, website backtoearthcreations.com, or for just a dollar over on Patreon. But then you don't get the fancy little star next to your name. I'm gonna dye this real quick. Well, I mean, I don't want to just leave them hanging on burp, burp. Actually, I've got to bev well, bevel the edges. A cliffhanger? <laughs> cliffhanger, yeah. So they have to tune into the after party to see Well, if they want to see the stones and stuff going on. Where in the heckin's McCrappin is my sh things? Here they are. Edge beveler. It's in that box. You, were, you picked it up twice. Those were too small and then too big. It was these ones. Anyways, so, because, right. yeah, because how the edge is kind of squared off, I'm going to use this tool called an edge beveler that's super doopy sharp right there on that inside part. And we just come through and it takes off that little bit of an edge. And I think it makes a really nice finished look. Ow. Ooh, my fingy. <laughs> Ooh, no, I just po the blade didn't get me, but it still hurt. <laughs> Heckins. Um, See, had this been an after party, you can let it all just no, because I'm trying to curse less because I sound like a freaking sailor. <laughs> yeah, but like, sailor Uranus, <laughs> sailor, Uranus. <laughs> sailor potty mouth. We're fixing to have like young people around us. I need to be like not be a swamp troll so bad. Oh <laughs> he just watched me Throw take my floor. handful and go eh, all over the floor. <laughs> like yeah we did though. We panic cleaned the house to try to make it look like humans live here. Um boof. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. But yeah, so that gives it a nice little edge. And then, so I'll do this. The back side's always harder for me. Ooh, there we go. No, I don't want to knock over my coffee. Let me slam this real quick. Don't slam it. Chug it, chug it, chug Ooh, it. Done. Okay. Another. Another. No, I'm not going to slam the cup down. <laughs> mm, but really, though, that was pretty good. Mmm, coffee. Is Pro still in here? <laughs> Why do I antagonize him? We love Pro Pool. <laughs> Y'all are nicer to me than I deserve. I'm just going to say that. Let's see if I can get every single piece of this on the floor as well. 
Okay. So yeah, so we will be staining this and then doing the other pieces in the after party. So if you guys want to come. Yeah, but then if, ow, ow. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> so we're gonna go do the after party. Starting at 5 Central Standard Time, if you guys want to come and hang out with us. I ran over my foot, okay? <laughs> like, I'm fine. It takes some talent. It takes some talent. Um, <laughs> Robin says, I learned all my curse words from a Navy man, my father. My dad was in the Navy, too. That's super cool. Um, <laughs> what? Brooke says, Swamp Troll throw garbage on floor for Squatch to clean. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm good, Mary Hart. Thanks for checking in. Um, we will see y'all in the after party. We're going to get that thing stained up. Um, and we will see y'all uh, then. And then also in Monday's shop update, if you guys are making it to the after party. But I've had a lot. Of, I've had a... <laughs> well, I'm reading comments and my wires are crossed. What'd you put in my coffee? <laughs> I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye. Real. You can see them too, right? It's a conspiracy. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Happy crafting. <laughs> Bye.